This training demo is being brought to you by LearningComputer.com. Today our topic of discussion is Excel 2013 conditional formatting. This has been around a few editions but we are going to look at what it looks like in 2013. So what is conditional formatting anyway? Well it is the ability in Excel to apply specific formatting to cells depending on the value of the cell and or the formula. Specific formatting can include changing font type, color, font size, and even the background color. Using conditional formatting, you can analyze massive amount of data quickly for trends. So this is probably where conditional formatting can really come in handy when you are looking at a large volume of data and trying to make some sense uh, as far as you know values uh, greater than, less than. Uh, above and below average this is where uh, you will get the most usage out of it in addition you can uh, get visual representation of the numeric figures using conditional formatting you can also answer questions like who sold how much last month last year last quarter and uh, another advantage of using uh, this type of formatting is to compare overall data to certain value and parameter and then finally highlight the top slash bottom values and range of percents okay so quite a bit uh, you can do with conditional formatting today we are going to be looking at these four different uh, types uh, the first one is really highlight cells this is when you show a specific cell depending on the particular value okay and we are going to look at product sales uh, information regarding that then you can use uh, you know top and bottom uh, values we will look at um, a grade book application for that and you highlight top and uh, essentially bottom values also we will look at data bars which is kind of like the old school bar graphs this really gives you a visual representation of numeric information and then finally we will uh, take a stab at icon sets which is which are kind of uh, cool they uh, apply uh, specialty icons depending on uh, the range of value okay so quite a bit uh, we are going to look at as far as the demo like I mentioned for uh, for highlighting cells we are going to use product sales by quarter uh, we will have a list of uh, products and see how they did you know in the last four quarters we are going to look at a grade book application regarding the uh, the top and the bottom rules and then uh, for data bars we are going to look at my uh, virtual uh, caches kitchen menu items to see how they did uh, last year uh, and then we will end the video with icon sets where we will look at the product sales by quarter uh, information again so enough chatter about this can we actually see a demo now uh, sure you can so now uh, I'm going to actually switch to Excel uh, 2013 uh, I have this uh, information ready to go uh, by the way if you're interested you can uh, download uh, you know the the uh, Excel sheet from our website uh, learningcomputer.com and um, you know we will make that available to you if you wanted to play around with this but uh, let's take a look at this uh, if you're new in Excel 2013 you'll see that they have redone uh, you know the look and feel it looks a lot more uh, cleaner um, uh, and crisp in some some fashion I'm using a trial version also they have uh, changed uh, some of the underlying colors so in, in Excel you're getting this uh, I'm not really sure for a screen and then you can see in uh, Excel you know it's it's some kind of uh, orange brownish color my color uh, vocabulary is pretty lame so anyway so now let's uh, focus on our task we are using the highlight cell rules uh, here you can see in this first column I have uh, some product information uh, you know Alice Martin some syrup uh, crab meat and whatnot and then uh, in the middle uh, we can see that here are the quarters uh, let's say for last year and so you know you can see that Alice Martin in the first quarter uh, sold four thousand two hundred and eight dollars okay and we will come back and look at the thresholds in a minute but uh, you know let's let's just do this uh, let's just jump right into it I'm going to uh, <clears throat> highlight my target area okay so you just select your information and then you want to make sure you're in the home tab you're going to go to conditional formatting and then highlight cell rules okay so the first thing I'm going to look at is 
when I did that, uh, you can see that I have a barrage of uh, options in here. You can do uh, you know things like greater than, less than. You can even uh, look at specific value. But let's do this. Let's start with less than, okay? And now you are getting a dialog box. I'm going to, let's say, highlight things below 4,000. So in other words, uh, these we are interested in finding out what products are not doing too well, uh, you know, in our line of uh, products. And then uh, on the right side, this is where you can choose formatting. Uh, we will look at the custom format in a bit, but for now, let's just go with one of the default. I will go ahead and select right, light red fill, and then hit OK. All right. So now, if I if I click someplace else, you can see that these items are the ones that these are the ones that um, did not make the cut so you can see even though it's uh, grandma's boysenberry spread uh, in the third quarter you know this product is struggling and then there's some definitely issues going on with the uh, Ross bratwurst I guess you say uh, so that's that's how you do that now let's flip things over and I, I'm interested in finding which products are doing you know really well okay and so I'm going to look at uh, products greater than let's say uh, you know that sold more than <clears throat> 9,000 okay and uh, and this time I'm going to select uh, let's let's just do a green fill okay and in fact, you'll notice that I have selected all of it. In fact, let me let me do this. <clears throat> I'm going to remove this formatting. I don't want to select the actual uh, products, product name. So it, this is a good uh, side side note that if you want to remove formatting, you go to conditional formatting, clear rules, and then clear rules from selected cells. Okay. This will take out the formatting. Now I'm going to just select my products again, just the numbers. Go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules greater than, and then uh, let's just go with uh, 9,000. <clears> okay. In fact, I'm getting a lot of them. So let's let's just do uh, let's do 10,000 instead. Okay, these are the products that really did well. I'm going to select them with a green fill. Green means go. Okay, and then hit OK. So you can tell that uh, <clears throat> these products did really well. Uh, surprisingly, uh, you know, aniseed syrup and Boston crab meat, they are uh, kicking butt. Okay, some of the other ones are kind of sporadic. But, uh, you know, that's how you do conditional formatting with values. Now, another, another uh, point uh, to be this, uh, to this is that you can actually set up your thresholds. Okay, so I have, uh, I have uh, listed here you can set up a minimum threshold, maximum threshold, and then uh, your formatting is driven by these numbers instead of you, you know, putting in specific values. So let's let's try that. I'm going to um, go back to uh, my my data. Okay, I'm going to select it, and I'm going to go to conditional formatting, highlight cells less than. But this time, instead of putting a number here, I'm actually simply going to click here okay and you'll notice that this changed okay and then I'm going to hit OK and we can just leave the fill as is okay so now you'll notice that uh, as as you're changing this number okay your formatting should change so I'm selecting 2000 that should take out one of them uh, <clears throat> Okay, let me do this. I'm actually, I uh, apologize, I'm going to clear formatting. Because what happens with uh, formatting is that um, it actually leaves uh, the old formatting in here. So it gets to be a little bit confusing, but let's do this. I'm going to select the data, go back to conditional formatting, highlight, less than, okay. And this time I'm going to say this one, okay. So 2000 is our number so you can see that now it's only highlighting three of them if I were to change this to let's say 5,000 you'll notice that a bunch of other you know candidates showed up 
if I change this back to 4,000, uh, you know, it changes a little bit. So this is this is an important point. Uh, it's dynamic in nature, where you know you can uh, play around with that. And same thing with we can do with the with the maximum. Okay. So so that was our uh, first example of highlighting cells. Uh, next thing uh, I'm going to look at is going to be the top slash bottom rules. Okay. So for this one, I actually have a grade book example. Um, this is one of the classes I taught uh, on, on databases. I have the, the student information in here. Okay, I have the total points that they can score, the average, and here's a breakdown. You can see that, uh, you know, in project one, um, the people scored this, okay, and then uh, midterm is this column, okay, final project, the final exam, and whatnot. Okay, now down here you can notice that um, <clears throat> this basically sums up all the information that Michael scored here. So it's summing from B6 all the way to B16. Okay, so uh, Michael scored 749, Craig scored 824. The next row has the, the total number of possible points and then this one is basically a percent. So this really divides this number by this number okay so that's just an overview of the numbers what are we trying to achieve here well 